Alicia Wood is hoping her brother's tragic death will spark action. 27-year-old James Wood disappeared from his West Kelowna home on Peters Road on November 8th. Wood suffered from a mental disability and his mother, Pat, says her son had a mental capacity of a 12-year-old. Wood reportedly ran away after being told by a psychiatrist he had to go to the hospital. Police and search and rescue conducted a search for Wood after he went missing on November 10th. At the time, Kosar told Castanet they were looking for Wood in several different areas, but were mainly focusing on the Carrington Road area. Police also went door to door in the neighborhood. On November 11th, police suspended the search. More than two months after he went missing, Kelowna RCMP located his body Body near Smith Creek on Sunday, January 2nd. Alicia Wood believes if a specific alert system was in place for vulnerable adults, her brother would still be alive today. I'm trying to figure out, you know, like what what could have we done to prevent it? The petition more so was for an, uh, an alert system because we don't have one for vulnerable people, and I I believe it should have a strict criteria because people kind of go missing all the time, and then they show up or you know maybe if they live risky lifestyles, but in James' situation, it was it was very clear as day that he was vulnerable. He was apprehended under a mental health care act. The police can put out like their own kind of you know alert, but it's I feel like if an alert system went out to people's phones. Wood says a tip that was received was never relayed to the police and could have saved the 27-year-old's life. It was received on the 9th, and my brother would have already been dead. So. If, that, if they had received that alert on their phone, though, on the 8th, they, they would have found him because he was found just, like, within 10 minutes from Smith Creek Road. Mm -hmm. um, and I actually, at his body site, I could see the road. Wood has started an online petition to create a vulnerable person's alert system within Canada. To date, close to 200 people have signed. Wood says she wants her brother to be remembered as a bright light. I want him to be remembered as like the deep, like philo philosophical thinker he was. Like he was really, he was really bright and he loved music and he was really happy. For Castanet News, I'm Madison Earhart in Kelowna.